for the record, yeah. how long have you been at NBC10? How long have yeah. you been in television? Well, I've been at NBC10 almost 27 years. I've been in TV for 43. I've been a meteorologist for 50. So I've been commuting to work for 50 years. <laughs> Right? You're tough. You're You're tough. Tough. You're tough. If you want me, I'm at home. Philadelphia is home to Glenn Hurricane Schwartz. Born and raised here, Glenn decided in the fifth grade he wanted to be a meteorologist. After Central High School, Penn State, and forecasting jobs all over the country, he returned to his hometown in 1995 and will retire here from NBC10 at the end of May. I'm not retiring from meteorology, I hope. I'm not retiring from public interactions. I'm not retiring from the fight against climate change. Studying climate change has been a decades long passion. The changes that I've seen since I started forecasting are dramatic. I have to change my philosophy of forecasting because of how the climate has changed. The sea level rise faster, the intensification of hurricanes. If it takes this track, if it goes just to our left, that puts us on the strong side of a large hurricane. So Speaking of hurricanes, his nickname has deep roots. I became the first storm chaser for the Weather Channel. They had never gone outside to actually film the weather. They have just showed maps. And so I begged them to give me the chance to do it. It's 10 o'clock on Saturday morning on a Labor Day weekend. We're about five miles from Cedar Key, Florida. And the rest is history. When an anchor saw the video. It's as far as we can go because the roads are washed out. And called him Glenn Hurricane Schwartz on the air. I've actually had kids ask me, why'd your parents name you Hurricane? I think more people know you as Hurricane yeah. than as maybe as Glenn. Oh yeah. But, but they, Number one is the bow tie guy. The bow tie no doubt helped to distinguish him, but memorable forecasts and on air moments also gave NBC 10 viewers a lot to like about Glenn from early on. The blizzard in 96 was only a couple months after I started. And then not too long after that, we started with the Seinfeld commercials. Well, John, I'm ready for a day of sun and fun. You're not going down the shore looking like that, are you? You only get one set of skin. You gotta and take care. That got me known even more, and that was maybe the most fun that I've ever had with TV. Perhaps the only thing to eclipse his love of weather <laughs> might be his love of Philadelphia sports. I grew up at Philly sports. My first year watching the Phillies was 1964, the biggest collapse in the history of baseball. I also got the opportunity to watch Will Chamberlain in person. In addition to sports analysis and, of course, meteorology, Glenn has many other talents. He wrote a novel, The Weather Maker, in 2020, and he moonlights as a singer. You're just too good to be true. He sang that hit to his wife, Sherry, at their wedding. Glenn credits her with standing by him through a demanding career. You have to have the family support. And the support of the community. That may be what he will miss the most, the people. I wish everybody had a chance to meet the kind of diverse group that we get to work with in TV. And it's like the best of the best. And it, it's been a joy. And Glenn, it's been a joy watching you. I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News.